Hi guys and girls and welcome to Ace. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create code that maintains your existing code. Let's uh, first uh, generate a bunch of code by actually just uh, finding some uh, database to install. So now that we, we have a database, let's just go to the CRUD generator and uh, choose our database and just uh, credify all tables. The objective of this uh, part being to generate a bunch of uh, Hyper Lambda files, because what we are going to specifically do, you see, uh, I have a bunch of uh, software development teams uh, all over the world whom I am managing-ish or, or helping. Whatever, and I had a specific request from uh, one of uh, the developers there uh, that he wanted to change the logic of auth ticket and verify because they have a dynamic database table that's like uh, declaring the permissions of either the roles or the username. I'm not entirely sure it doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. So just to have a use case here now, I'm going to actually change the auth.ticket.verify slot invocation in every single one of these files. Uh, and I'm going to do it without actually writing the code myself. You see, it's the same logic here in every single file. So I'm going to instead actually create a hyperlambda snippet that, that uh, dynamically changes this. However, first I need some new uh, auth. Uh, ticket.verify logic. So I need to create a folder inside of my north wind table uh, folder here and call it magic.startup. Important uh, name. Then I choose this guy and I choose active folder and I choose new file. Uh, create of slot.hr. So now I can. Um, uh, do slots.create and create some authentication slot. My dash foo, you know what, foo dash off. Let's do it simple. And here I can really do whatever I want to, including, you know, lookups into a database or whatever. Uh, however, what, what I am going to do, I'm just going to forward the uh, JWT um, token to some other service. This allows me to actually use my existing single sign-on uh, authorization mechanism and integrate it completely transparently inside of Magic without having to change anything in my original uh, authorization service. Retrieves JWT token and makes sure it verifies according to third party. Okay. Uh, headers. Function control space on Mac, uh, control space on Windows, uh, add HTTP dot post slash asterisk slash headers. Uh, actually, forget about that. HTTP dot post colon and then let's find some URL. HTTPS colon slash slash foo dash polter guy dot gb dot aista dot com this will be different for you of course because you won't have the same backend as i do and then magic slash modules slash uh, off dash module module slash off and then let's do headers authorization colon x colon at request dot headers dot get and then if and get value colon x colon at http dot post mte dot int 200 lte dot int 300 LT actually dot lambda turn bool true and of course we could have written an else here but there's no point because if the if statement kicks in it returns immediately so we can just throw access denied public true status 401 save and now we want to uh, create uh, this uh, module. And now, of course, this could be a completely different server. Uh, however, we are just going to use a single cloudlet here. And then what was the name of module off? And it's a post. Okay, active folder, new file, off.post.hl. And here we can do now 
auth.ticket.verify right save this file go back to our um, bugger um, here and then we can actually start modifying our code let's just close all files uh, alt c on windows for the record now what we want to do we want to first execute this file f5 then here comes the objective with the, 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 the thing. Because what we want to do now, we want to change. Let, let's say we had a million files. Obviously, we, we can't do this by hand, right? That's the whole objective of the exercise. So we want to change every single invocation to auth.ticket.verify to signal column blah. Right? So we, we, we have this and we want to have this. That's what we want to. Now, at this point, we could, of course, open every single freaking file and manually edit the code. However, that's madness, right, when you have a million files. So let's create a computer hyper lambda snippet of code that automatically does it for us. Uh, Alt L, load hyper lambda. North win, right? And then here we want to do. Um, Lambda, lambda, at hyper to lambda. Uh, uh, insert before column x column at hyper to lambda slash asterisk slash off dot ticket dot verify dot and ta -da. And then we want to do remove nodes. Save it. Uh, actually, we don't need to save it. Let me just verify that it's correct. Hyper to lambda minus. Okay, insert before. Hyper to lambda asterisk of the ticket. Verify signal full dot off. Remove nodes. Hyper to lambda asterisk of the ticket. Verify lambda to hyper. Okay, let's execute. And now let's go back to hyper ID. Open it in another uh, browser window. And ta-da! We've now changed every single file. And, and this could be one file or it could be a million files. And, and we actually didn't write the code to, to change these files ourselves. We, we created a computer program that, that actually automatically maintained and edited all of these files automatically for us recursively inside of this folder. And that's it. And every single invocation to any one of our endpoints now will actually in signal the foo.off slot, which again basically is a gateway authorization service invoking some third party endpoint that act and extracts the HTTP header JWT token, forwards it to our third party authorization service. And only if it is a success, it actually returns. Otherwise, it will actually throw an access denied. Let's verify that it actually works. We're trying to retrieve categories. Invoke, and it didn't work. <laughs> Let's figure out why. Uh, no payload. Ah. So I, I, I changed <laughs> from HTTP post to HTTP get, and I forgot to change this guy. <laughs> what a stupid bug. Save the file, execute it, demaximize, Alt M. Let's find some HTTP endpoint. Um, here we go. Ta da! Now we're getting categories. Of course, the point being now, if you open this in anonymous windows, we get access to it. Actually, we don't get access to neither get good meditation, but uh, we, we don't get access to the data. That's the, the point. So anyways, uh, that was uh, it for uh, today's video. Basically, the objective of the thing, 
remember, we went into the evaluator. We, we had like hundreds of files here. We wanted to edit every single one of them. Okay, so we created a snippet of code that actually did that automatically for us. Right here is the code we actually created. Uh, very carefully look at this code. That's what you need to understand. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, all the good stuff. Have a nice day.